this again. Good. And let's try it. Welcome! Things are about to get strange real fast, so settle in and brace that's yourself that's for the weirdness. Okay, breathe in for me through your nose only. Excellent. Is, uh, this is going to be nose breathing, then mouth breathing, okay. and then alternating, and then nose and mouth breathing at the same time. Alright. So the vellum of your palate essentially is now letting air... Yeah, you close it off completely there. It's a very slight difference, eh? Like the nose, the soft palate is just barely down when you're doing the neutral breathing in between. Yeah. Cool. There's a mouth breathing, I'll turn it to you. Okay, no response with breathing. Hang out one more time. Okay. Good. All right. There we go. All right. So uh, first I'll just do some nasal breathing. Now I'll do some mouth breathing. Back to nose breathing. Back to mouth. And you can really see that, that soft palate come up for the mouth breathing. So here's gonna be a nose and mouth, uh, soft palate neutral position, breathing through, in and out through both at the same time. And then nose again. And then both. I don't see a difference when, um, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, so now I'll just alternate through nose and mouth breathing um, in the middle of uh, exhales and inhales. Okay, cool. Uh, let's just see if there's any kind of yeast sticking to yeah, thing happening. Yeah, too. There's no fricatives or cause when you do it. Like, I feel like when you're... Alright, we'll just see if we can uh, settle this debate. If the... Um, if when I perform a VTO, if the you stake if the tympanic membrane stays sucked in, or if it sucks in briefly, because of an uh, increase in volume and there are therefore a decrease in pressure sucking the uh, TM in and then it should bow back out. And we'll see what happens. So I'll do a couple of hands freeze just to calibrate. So every time it bows in that's performing a hands free. I'll do one more normal hands free and then I'll do a hands free and hold it. It does really slowly go back to normal, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right yeah, so when I end it, it's it's already back out. Yep. All right, I think that pretty safely confirms that. Sweet. Oh, and now here's what um, uh, hands-free or VTO, BTV, if you want to do the French, looks like in the soft palate. Usually we think of voluntary tubule opening as tugging on the eustachian tubes, which is true, but there's a particular muscle uh, I recently learned, thanks doc, it's the tensor vili palatini, and uh, we'll see that in action with a hands-free, a true VTO equalization, if it is exactly what I think it is.
<laughs> Reset. <laughs> So essentially, Farron, what you did was uh, you stimulated or activated the tensor belly palatini muscle. And you can see that here, where its insertion point is going to be on the inferior aspect of your eustachian tube. And so by activating that muscle, you pull down on the tube, and the tube is more patent, thereby allowing you to either insufflate or allowing air to egress from the middle ear space. Where, where are we able to see when the, uh, the scope is in the nose? Like you're able to see the opening to the eustachian tube, yes? Correct. So whereabouts on this on this chart? Great question. So right about here. You can mm -hmm. see that's where this arrow is pointing. Mm -hmm. uh, if you were to walk all the way back, shrink yourself down to the size of Ant-Man and walk through the cave that is your nose, you'd be all the way back here towards the diving board of the soft palate, right? Looking down into the depths of your larynx. But if you look up, or if you look left and right, rather, you're going to see the opening to the eustachian tube, which we call the eustachian tube torus. Okay. If you pay close attention, you can see the TM flex inward quickly when I perform a hands-free equalization. If you pay even closer attention, you can see it slowly return to normal as the pressure stabilizes while I'm still performing the maneuver. For a little bit. Okay, and that's uh hands free if you look at these comparisons it looks like Ioannis is doing the same technique however it's not producing a successful VTO equalization why do you think that is do you see any difference okay cool uh, so now I'll perform some uh, equalizations uh, we'll start with the classic Frenzel I'll just rest for a second. Okay. And I'll, now I'll frenzel and hold. Okay, cool. So that's frenzel equalization. And now I'll do a uh, reverse Valsalva and see if this closes uh, when I perform a reverse Valsalva. I need a pinch. Cool. Yeah, you can really see it kind of suck itself close, huh? Cool. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna... Do reflux? Do you reflux at all? Like, uh, what does that mean? Bird? Like uh, uh, esophageal reflux? Do you have a heartburn? Oh, uh, very early. Really? Okay. Oh, that looks great. I'm gonna friends now. Okay. Your glass is taking effect in that. You're not huge. Uh, yeah, so let's do some. Uh, frenzels and then reverse frenzels. Okay. Not reverse. Yeah. yeah. Good. All right, I'm gonna let my ears relax for a second. Okay, and it then actually uh. Looked like on the reverse, you actually did have your hook ports. But it shouldn't have been. True. Try that again. Oh. oh wait, no, that wasn't. That was a reverse Valsalva. Okay, I try to reverse Valsalva. Yeah. Okay, it's closing. It's closing. Maybe you're still doing a little Valsalva. How did that look? Um, I mean, a little better, I think. You know what's funny is that, yeah, I think that's what that's what's going on, is maybe you're actually literally Valsalving, reverse Valsalving. Okay, that one, those last ones, that was yeah. one of your friends while I was watching on the camera. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Frenzel. Frenzel, standard Frenzel, right? Or is this, uh, is that reverse? 
Yeah, that did you see that? Yeah, yeah. That actually stayed close. So okay, you're right. Cool. The first ones was reverse Los Salvas. Yes. These were reverse Frenzels. Okay. So I'll just do some reverse Frenzels. I can't even reverse Val Salva anymore. I, it's so hard to even. Yeah, you can see the <laughs> that for. So cool. This is so freaking weird. Yeah. All right. Okay, this is neutral. Uh, let's really just. Like I'll, I'll just do a couple of frenzels. Nice. Okay, go. now I'll do a, a reverse Valsalva. See when you do the frenzel, reverse frenzel. See if I can. I'll go positive frenzel and then negative frenzel. Right. Good. Yeah, there you go. You okay. hear the whoosh whoosh? Oh, yeah, That's definitely. Cool. Oh yeah, there's the chords again. E. Let's just go through some notes just to mm -hmm. see how Slow they look. Again, real quick, so I can get that white bulb out. Okay, good. Good now. Um... <laughs> yeah, you got that falsetto there. That's I couldn't. I false, couldn't even see what I was doing. False vocal cords. Everything collapses. I'm gonna, in. It's, it's, I'm gonna do that again and then watch my phone because your hands are blocking. But it's okay. You're in a good position. Oh, <laughs> that's freaking really crazy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now I'm just gonna swallow and see if anything happens to the eustachian tube. If it agitates the eustachian tube enough to uh, to respond and equalize. I gotta, I gotta build up some spit to swallow. So three, two, one. That was a clear swallow. I'll do that again. Three, two, one. So yeah, you can see how swallowing very quickly for a short amount of time agitates the eustachian tube opening, and might allow uh, equalization to happen, but a very small amount, and it works very slowly, which is why. Some divers can go down with swallowing, but very slowly, and it's not very effective. It's probably a little better with, or a lot better with scuba diving, where your descent is much slower, but for us, it's not super effective and probably not very safe either to rely on. My TM was moving as I swallowed, but very, very slightly. You probably can't even see it in this particular clip. Okay, so now I'll just do a few swallows just to see what that looks like. Wow, it actually like touched everything. Yeah, you did. Trying not to let you, because it, it raises up every time, which is expected. I'll try to keep it away. Just try that real quick. Sure. Let me give you a break. I think more important, let me give you a break. It sucks. It sucks. It, I know you're, <laughs> it sucks. you're doing this without any lidocaine, too. Uh -oh. so. Okay, nice. while we're here, what else was I going to do? I'm going to swallow and see if there's a response to that we're posting. Yep. Oh, there was a very slight very, response. Very slight. Yep. So just the swallowing is essentially the BTO. I mean, I think in the first take, I think you'll be happy. And just watch you swallow. Put the swallows in there. That was her hands free. Let me just try yep. swallow. Yep. Suck. Tiny little suck. Yeah, that's that's really a really a slight difference. Okay, so some students have an issue where they raise their soft palate, and it blocks any air from actually getting up into the eustachian tubes and um, so they might have perfect glottis control for example but if the soft palate is jammed up there then it's it, it's not going to work because it's blo blocking off airflow into the eustachian tubes let's see if i can create that yeah. and uh that's a very typical thing you hear you'll hear some students going like a uh, sound and that's presumably either because their glottis isn't closed all the way or because their soft palate is up or both and it's just not allowing airflow. I'll try to do that again. <laughs> so you can really clearly see how uh, nothing is happening there. It's all just completely blocked off and the air is not allowed to flow um, up into the eustachian tube because the soft palate is up and 
uh, that could be one issue. It could be another issue where students are keeping their glottis completely closed and they are successfully using all the air in their nasal and oral cavities and there's literally no more air to equalize with as they continue the descent and in some cases it's soft palate, in some cases the student's not allowing the air to recharge into the, uh, into the mouth. All right, I'm gonna make that noise. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's a little bit of a valsalva because you're getting you're moving air past the cords and almost squeaking it, right? Okay. So I'll do another round of that. Okay. This first one is just gonna be making the sounds. That's really good. Right there. And I'll make the sounds again, but I'll add pressure from my. Uh, for my breathing muscles. Uh, let's, let's see if the, the just let's make the noises. <laughs> so a little bit with it. Yeah, it's, it's really efficient. it's super super inefficient. But a student. So I think that's actually just a valsalva with the glottis semi closed. Yes. I think that's yes. all that really is. I think it is. So okay. It's an inefficient valsalva. And, so, then, and then you've over closed off your soft palate. Yeah, so I think what's happening is you're having a uh, uh, a mixed method between Franzel and Valsalva, but the only thing that's actually moving the air is the Valsalva. So if someone's making that sound, I'm, it's, that's what it appears to be. Yeah. All right, I'm going to try and make those compartments again. So I'm going to keep my glottis closed. Okay. Frenzel, letting the air escape out my nose in between frenzels and see if I can depress this uh, the amount of air coming around. Nice. That's it. That's all I got. I can only do two equalizations like that. Was my glottis closed that whole time? Whole time. Okay. So that's that confirms it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. We're back. Three there. I'm out of there. Yeah. Cool. Gonna take a break? Yeah. Just, and I think that's it. Cool. Done. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's only so long you can do this without lighting it. I mean, it definitely hurts. This is the nasopharyngeal endoscope. And this was inside my face. I hope you appreciate this video <laughs> of this thing being in my face. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, thanks, Doc, for uh, like, making this all happen. It's like a spaghetti noodle. Just think about it going in your nose. No. Not like a spaghetti noodle? Who are the, like, the Guinness Book of World Record weirdos? It's like oh. a udon noodle. <laughs>